You know, I was eventually going to make a video where I talk about who could potentially be the first head coach in this MLS season to be end up in the chopping block. Well, after today, I don't think I have to make that video anymore because we found out who was the first head coach this season in MLS that has been fired. And that first head coach is Chris Armas, as it was officially announced that today the Red Bulls have part ways with Chris Armas and that he is now no longer the head coach of the New York Red Bulls. Now, I know there's been a lot of Red Bulls fans that has been very happy about this move, and there's even some that said that this move was long overdue and should have happened back in 2018 when the team clearly looked like they were in a downward trajectory. That being said, I'm going to also say that I think this downward slope that the Red Bulls have gone through isn't really 100% on Chris Armas. I mean, I feel like this team, when you look at how they were in that high mark back in 2018 by by going into the conference final and playing against Atlanta United, that unfortunately they just fell at the final hurdle before making MLS Cup, this team have definitely gone through a bit of a downward slope, mainly because they have been selling off some of their best player. Like, Back in the 2018 offseason, one of the biggest players that they, they sold off and probably the best player that they developed in their academy, that is Tyler Adams. They basically sold him off to RB Leipzig and kind of still haven't really replaced the the guy that they that is such a key role to their midfield. And in this offseason, they basically kind of went on a fire sale in terms of selling some of their best player uh, guys like BWP, Luis Robles, and Kamar Lawrence all no longer they're being part of this team and sold off to to somewhere else and that when you go through that kind of fire sale and basically selling a lot of these good player and you don't really think about potentially replacing them besides bringing some of these new fresh batch of young talent from the red bulls academy to potentially fill their shoes yeah you know there's gonna gonna be be a huge step back that this organization is going to take and that I even said that I feel like this is going to be a transitional year for the Red Bulls and that I won't be surprised if they're going to miss the playoffs for the first time in a very long time with the way that you know when you lose that many, many talent that they had from this offseason it's definitely going to be a downgrade in terms of the quality that the squad does have and also I do question in terms of some some of the decision and really some of of the transfer that the Red Bulls have done or transfers that is because they haven't really done done a lot of transfer and haven't really splashed the money in terms of trying to replace some of those guys that they lost during this offseason I mean they have got maybe a couple of guys from the lower leagues of English football but most of those guys haven't really made an appearance for the Red Bulls and we don't know exactly how they're going to do or whether if they're actually going to be good replacement for those guys that they lost this offseason. So yeah, a, a part of that has to do with the inability of the Red Bulls not decide to spend and just kind of hope for the best that the, these new batch of talent from the academy will actually fill the big shoe it is kind of one of the biggest reason why this team is took a huge step back from the previous couple of season with the way that they're doing now that being said as i said with red bulls fan talking about how they aren't are very happy with with chris armis no longer as the head coach of the red bulls well partially the reason why they're very happy about it is because he's clearly not a good head coach and that there's definitely been some very questionable tactics and that in some way, he, he kind of got bailed out by high-end talent. And in some extent, I do agree with that. I think last season, when you saw how Chris Armas, the way that, that there's been times that this Red Bulls team had struggled, uh, there's also been, been time that they have able to get, get points, mainly because some of those high-end talent was able to step up. And, you know, how many times last season that Luis Robles has been single-handedly carried this team and making some big save to robbing a point opponents and basically stealing free points for the Red Bulls against their opponents. Yeah, this season they don't have that Luis Robles kind of guy. And as we just saw in the last game where they were themselves being now the victim of basically getting robbed by free points of the opponent with the way that DC, you know, with, even though they didn't play a very good game last last game uh, because of the fact that the Red Bulls kind of gave up a late goal and that 
you know, Mara making a goalkeeping mistake that I think if Robles was still in goal, he clearly would have saved that one. You know, that is kind of one of the reasons why Chris Armas can no longer rely on high-end talent to, ba to bail him out with the way that the squad is definitely not as good as previous year. And also knowing the the fact that I know that some Red Bulls fan have been also saying that he hasn't really done a good job in terms of developing this new batch of talent that the Red Bulls have have put into this team. And in some extent, I do agree. I mean, you know, I was thinking that with Chris Armas working with the Red Bulls Academy, you would think that he would eventually know some of the teams that he is bringing in from the Academy and actually do do his best to develop them into to a starting being 11 kind of player in MLS and that it just doesn't seem like it has happened with the way that some of these players clearly does not look like a quality that the Red Bulls would have from the previous year. But now that, of course, he is no longer a head coach, it's going to be interesting to see what the Red Bulls are going to do moving forward and who exactly is the next head coach. I mean, I'm assuming the next head coach probably is either going to be a guy that has been played for the Red Bulls before and that he's going to be coming in or it's going to be somebody from the academy uh some people throw in the tier on re name as potentially the next head coach for the Red Bulls which wouldn't be a bad hiring only problem is he's with Montreal right now and that if they would have fired Chris Armas maybe during this offseason then I think it would have been highly possible that they bring in tier on to coach this this Red Bulls team and potentially guy this team to do much better than what Chris Armas is, is doing with this team but let me know in the comments below if you're a Red Bulls fan what do you think of this firing and who do you think is going to be the head coach of this team and how is this team going to look now for the rest of the season under an interim head coach because I still think that you know firing Chris Armas I don't know if this is going to be be enough for them to kind of overcome some of the the talent that they lost last season and that they're going to instantly go go back to like a team that won the supporter shield back in 2018 and that i still think this is just a transitional year for the red bulls and that hopefully if they do make the smart decision in terms of making some some player cha changes or go out in the market to replace some of the guys that they lost for the past couple of off season and actually finding the right guy to coach this team then we could see the red bulls bounce back heading into next year but yeah let me know in the comments below what do you think of this if you're a red bulls fan and yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you guys next time